In this demonstration, I'm going to combine multiple wheel thrown pieces to make one larger vessel. So as you can see, I have three thrown pots here. Your pots should be of a similar size or circumference of either the top or the base of the pots. So I'm going to be combining these three. Um, before I start, I'm just going to make sure that they fit together. So I'm thinking about this one being my base piece and I'm thinking about this one going in the middle. Now these pots were thrown um, yesterday and then lightly covered with a bag. So they are um, in between still wet and leather hard state. Uh, they, they're they definitely still soft enough to be bent a little bit. You can see that little dent um, that I placed by picking that one up, but that's okay. I can pop that back out after these are connected. So it looks like these two pots are a good fit. And then I'm thinking about this pot going on the top. So I'm just going to look at that and get an idea of what the profile um, of this vessel is going to be. So the next step is going to be joining the three pieces together. So I'm first going to join my bottom two pieces together and because it's not quite at the leather hard state, I can blend these pieces together. Um, if your piece becomes more leather hard, it's a little bit stiffer, you can slip and score these together. You can also add a coil to join the two pieces and make them um, fit a little bit better or more closely. So I'm just taking a wooden modeling tool right now. I'm going to go all the way around the seam of the two pieces and just lightly blend those seams. My two pieces have now been blended together. The seam is a little bit rough and I can go back in and kind of smooth that out a little bit better uh, once I get the third piece attached. As you can see on the top, I've cut a hole and the reason for cutting that hole is so that when you're blending the pieces together you can get your fingers in there and support it from uh, behind so that your pot does not cave in. And uh, I just cut a very small hole, the smallest hole I could cut because I'm going to need some of this surface um, on the bottom of this pot which has now become the top so that I can slip and score this piece to my third piece. Um, so that is the next step. I'm going to slip and score those two pieces together. So I've scored and added slip to both sides and now I'm going to go ahead and put that top piece on. I'm going to press the two pieces together making sure that I'm getting it centered. I'm now going to show you a top view. So that hole in the top is very small. I can now go in, now that these have been slipped and scored and attached, and take my needle tool and cut this opening so that it is a little bit bigger. go around one more time make sure that you press that needle tool in to make sure you're getting the thickness of both pieces of clay. I'm just going to blend smooth this a bit. The next thing I'm going to do is come down to this part and I'm going to smooth these seams out a little bit more and then go back to the first two that I attached and smooth those seams out. Um, in order to smooth them, I'll use the wooden modeling tool, I'll use my thumb some, and I'm going to make sure that I'm using one hand to support the structure from behind so that I don't cave in the form. 
I've taken the top of this. I'm just going to kind of bend the, the lip of this so that it's a little bit more oblong than round. And you can still see the seams between these are still a little bit rough. I'm going to allow this to get leather hard a little bit more um, so that I can go in and scrape and clean up the edges. In the meantime, I'm going to think about feet and handles being added uh, to this vessel. And I'll be using a combination of slabs and coils to do that.